Good morning, this is Commander Ryok, and today we're going to try and see if we can get finally pulled out of Witch Space by a, quote, Thargoid. I have a funny feeling they're really not the Thargoids, because there is two other races in the Elite Dangerous universe, not counting the Thargoids. Counting them, there's three total other races. I cannot remember their names, and I cannot find the post that talks about them, but uh, there is a race that, their name starts with an O, but like I say, I can't remember the name of them. Uh, but they are Thargoid-like, and according to, like, there was a, uh, book that's actually part of the lore that, um, or that is also canon, I should say, that they, they look like Thargoids, but they have their bodies are, because their bodies are a little bit different, and if in case you don't know what a Thargoid looks like, they're very insect-like. I think they have six legs and then two, two front arms, or is it eight legs and two front arms? It's... They're, they're, think of like a giant ant in a way. Um, so with that, I'm here on HIP 17403 at the alien crash site where the first alien ship, well actually it's not the first, but I think it's like the second and third one that's been found. And here we have actual unknown artifacts. Well, people are saying that that increases your chances of getting entered by them so I'm gonna go ahead here and let's go and pick up an unknown artifact and see if I can hopefully get uh, pulled out of witch space here wow why am I doing details sorry forgive me I am I am not thinking straight this morning Drive assist on. And I came out here my little Diamondback Explorer because it's got the it's got the best jump range out of all my ships. It's got about 32 light year jump. Whoops. I don't hit my engine here. And plus it looks like a bug, so I'm kind of hoping that they would see it and go, Hey, you look like us. Maybe. Oh, let's get down here and let's grab one. Whee! And that weird little howling sound, that's an unknown artifact. Or is it an unknown probe? I can't remember which one it is that they have out here. I think there's probes. Emma, where are you? I wish I picked a better landing spot closer, but this is a little hilly. And I can't land that girl here. As you can tell, that's the other crash site. One of the crash sites just has the ship. This one here has an anaconda. It looks like another. It's a looks like a Type Nine, and I think that's another anaconda. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's two anacondas and a Type Nine. Two Type Nines, and oh wow! As you can see, there's part of the alien ship. Another part of the alien ship. And then the big center mass of the alien ship. Which that kind of almost looks like, that may be the back of it. Hopefully when I get interdicted or pulled out witch space by one. So let's just, unknown artifact, yeah. Okay, let's just grab one. So what we'll do is we'll head back. Hey, there's another pilot over there. And that's the problem about the... You know, these things here, they start corrupting your ship. So, unknown artifact. Sell pretty good. Oh, great, nice. See, they start hurting your ship. Whoops. 
and your vehicle. Come on. Get up that hill, you little sucker. Hey, there's my diamond pack. Okay, let's read dock here. Ship. I hope this isn't a bad idea. Now let's go to the galaxy map here. I have some spots where people found some sightings, so let's kind of pick there, see if I can get that's about 89. It's just a couple of jumps for me. So here we go. And there's a couple of our commanders poking around. All right, Tango. But like I was saying, our ship kind of looks like a bug. It's got like the wing covers. Hmm. Aliens design? Maybe not. Nah. Okay. Anywho, let's get out of here. Powered engines. Landing gear retracted. Oh good, I can jump out of here. No, don't take out my F FSD, please. Wow, I didn't realize I was that damaged. When did I... Huh. Let's turn off our cargo hatch here. Okay, I'm high enough. And that's the Pleiades Nebula right there, so... I don't like this thing. I don't like how it's chewing up my shields. Hopefully we can get this done in this video. If not, then I'm gonna be sad. I haven't really uploaded stuff to YouTube in a while. Sorry. Been kind of busy. So the goal is to pick up one of these and kind of jump around and see if I can get them to interdict me. Because normally you cannot get pulled out of Witch Space. It was impossible. Now you can. Apparently they can do that. In the very first Elite that came out a long time ago on the I think the ZX Spectrum. Um, I think it's the ZX Spectrum. I, I never played it, so I never... This is the first time I ever heard of any Elite. I think I played, like, Frontier Elite. Long, or... I think it's Frontier 2, I think it was. I think I played the demo of it a long time ago when I was a kid, but I just don't remember it that well. But in the original, original game... The Thargoids could pull you out which space and attack you. But apparently it was rare. But you don't have to have a unknown artifact, you just increases your chances. You can tell I've already kind of data scanned a lot of those areas. I've been bouncing around a lot. Oh, I don't like that thing in there. I'm really, 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 really hoping we can get this done. Great. Don't take out my fuel scoop, please. All the fuel rats. I haven't had to yet, and I hope I never have to. They're a good group, but yeah, kind of embarrassing if you can't control your own fuel. To me, well, I would be embarrassed. Okay, it looks like 
check this is my last jump to that system. In case you never played Elite, what the data scanner does is it kind of helps you. When you first jump into a system that you don't have any navigational data for, um, you'll only be able to pick up the star and maybe a few things close by it, usually asteroid belts. No, leave my fuel scoop alone, please. And when you run the data scanner, you can actually, it lets you pull up the map. Kind of gives you a map of everything close by. So that's, that's kind of like what that honking sound is, just my data scanner. And then there's different ones. There's ones that only go like, you know, so many light seconds out. Another one goes a little bit further. And then the one I have is infinite. Yeah, yeah, tear up my point defense. I don't care about my point defense right now. Come on, you suckers, pull me out of FTL. And I got my wish. Yay! How he spins his little dills up. Ooh, data. Interesting. I am so glad that finally happened to me. Oh, that was beautiful. And on that note, you know what? I'm getting rid of you. Abandon. Scan detected. And see, that's the thing about these unknown artifacts. They scan you every time. And let me see if I can get close so you can actually... So you don't know. I think there's unknown probes that were showing up. I think it was unknown probes. And then later on came the unknown artifacts. And the artifacts, and with the probes, I'm pretty sure it was probes. I never really found one. They always let off that weird sound, and they let something out. They let other stuff off. 
see these, they always point to the Pleiades Nebula. Oh, don't want to hit it. Don't want to kill it. They always point that way, and then people are actually able to pinpoint where they're going and everything. And the other interesting thing about them is if you do your data scanner around them. When somebody discovered this, it was actually quite interesting what happens. Oh, you're not going to do it anymore? That was an artifact that would do it, or is it the probe? Try again. You're supposed to do a data scanner and it knocks your ship out. I guess that maybe it's the other one that does it. Huh. I don't know, that's kinda interesting. Oops. Oh well, I'm not gonna play with it anymore. But anywho, yay, I finally got interdicted by one. That was so freaking cool. I loved it. Wow. Able to do it in under 16 minutes. So joy. I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. <laughs> yay. About freaking time too. Huh, so it looks like I never really left the system. They kind of They pulled me out before I actually got to go. Or I guess I was beginning my uh, FTL jump, but it's kind of interesting. So let's just kind of, I'm going to kind of go back here, dock Obsidian Orbital, land, repair, scream like a little girl for a little while. Because that was so awesome! Yay! Ooh, black hole. I wish they had the accretion disks on them. Hey, unknown fragment. Cargo scoop deployed. I'll take that, thank you very much. Yes, I know my material storage is full. Cargo scoop retracted. And what you keep hearing ding at me is uh Oh, what was it called? ED Engineer. It kind of keeps a track of all my materials for me, thankfully. Oh, only two jumps of Myra, so well, y'all can ride along with me here. If you're done watching the video, go ahead and you can go down and go somewhere else, you know. Oh, oh well, I saw the Thorgoids finally, you know. Yeah. But that was so awesome. I'm so happy. Finally, and you know, hopefully I got it at a good enough resolution. I can actually kind of analyze it better because I kind of looked at the points I wanted to look at so um, I wish I could have seen the ship a little bit better but my cockpit was kind of icing up because everything was kind of shut down on me uh oh whoops eh, I gotta get back to my there we go And honk. As you see, it just rediscovered a few more things. I'm like too full on. No, I don't need that many. Jeez. Yeah, that'll help out. Good lord. A lot of iron. Uh, 906. That, that'll help me out. Yeah, I love the look of the nebula. Let me get a little bit further away from the star. Four ninety-seven. So I should have had four hundred ninety-seven data, or four hundred seventy-nine. Sorry. Okay, I'm just checking and make sure that um, uh, ED Engineer is actually keeping track of all my stuff. Because what it does is it leads, reads the log files helps you keep track of everything. Uh, get back to my client. There we go. Yeah. 
such a beautiful nebula. I love the blueness to it. Frameshift drive charging. Class B. I can fill up by it, but why should I bother? There's obsidian orbital. Do I want to land in Obsidian Orbital, or do I want to land on the planet? Eh, we'll do or Orbital. Go see the Ant Hill mob. Woo! Big star. really quick. Saves me from having to pay for fuel. Fuel's cheap, but still. So that was really exciting. Yeah, 32 light year jump. That makes me, that makes me happy. Spent most of Oh, the day that they were found, or most of the evening, spent a little bit of time Friday night, or last night actually, trying to get get pulled out, could not get pulled out, but you know what, let me just go grab an unknown um, artifact, and wow, within a few jumps I finally got pulled out, so they are kind of needed, well they increase your chances I should say. Going on here. Nope. This is not really a combat ship. Oh, I wish I could mirror the name of the other alien race, but I cannot. Oh, little brown dwarf. I love the beautiful view in this game. If I was a little bit further away from some of the stars, you'd, you'd actually see the really good blue, and I am overshooting. I bumped my throttle. So I really wonder what race is going to be, and you know, I applaud Frontier from keeping this quiet. I mean, a lot of, you have a lot of data miners out there. People actually pull apart the files and spoil a lot of games and stuff. But I'm glad Frontier has a way to keep people from doing that, which is really, really nice. I guess somehow they can stream that data to you. I'm not sure how they do it, but it's very ingenious. Oh, I think that's right by the entrance. Ugh. So, let's just land. Python. Yep, right there by the entrance. Watch, I'm gonna land hard. I'm not used to small ships now, I'm used to bigger ships. Whee! Yeah, not bad. So anywho, with that, yay, finally encountered one. So, uh, thank you for watching, and fly safe, Commanders. This is Commander Rio signing out.